Hi guys, this is Thomas Blue on the Xbox here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows. Well, technically that's not an install, but get Windows 1.0 on on VMware. I was just wondering what the heck it is. I the mouse. So, in while in the VM Wizard, make sure that you turn that you install the operating system later. Uh, unless you do prefer to like install MS DOS by yourself first and then install it, then yeah, <coughs> then yeah. But I'm gonna keep it on Windows 3.1 because that and doing that is really really important. Anyway, so next, then you go, then you go and choose your install directory, your so your disk size, and then and then customize the hardware. Now remove the CD drive and add and replace it with a floppy drive and use a floppy image. Now the floppy images will be at will be in the description. So yeah. Now once you add the install directory, you'll probably go and see that it'll only read flip. Oh, and it does is create. Oops. Browse. Now, it will only load fl FLP and image, but you can but it but you can select all files because it. Then we have, then we have, all. Then we have everything. And VMware does support Emma, so that will be coming handy. So close. Finish. And then I can go into and I can control or enter and and if you want to you can press uh, you can open up the boot menu even though the floppy drive will not even be there. Come on. Well, there it is. So if you're wondering like where what just where is your floppy drive? It's just a CD drive, just underneath. Because it usually appears up, but before the hard drive, and you're back here. So the only thing you need to know when installing Windows 1.0 of of the of the floppy disk OS is that it will carry data between VMs and possibly PCs even. So let's play. So let's just play reverse because it's one of the print because it's in the pre-installed game. Now there. I don't know yet how to win in the reverse. Who well, knows how to play it? <laughs> That's how. To there. So, where is it? I found it. Yeah, I guess I have no idea how how to play with RC. So, so it's mostly like a random, random. Like. I don't know how to win with Rossi. And that's it. <laughs> Let's see. Down there. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. It's taking no steps. Right, what? <laughs> so. Apparently, oh, I guess I can. Oh, I guess I can place. Ooh, the pass. I don't know what this pass even means. But okay. <laughs> One knows that you can. Is that when your cursor is across there, then you can place something there. Oh, there it is. There it is. I think I'm gonna win this one. 
You must pass. I have no idea what does this mean by pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, like the only thing to do when you're peering into the operating system is w is that if we click this, then you'll not press this. Okay, then. What's up in hint? And then, like, you're gonna have to d have to drag to what you need to do. Ah, oh, it seems like I can pass. Yay! Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, wait, what? <laughs> I lost. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I can close this as well. Now, the only thing you need to need to know in the terminal, <laughs> if you're new to using Windows 1.0, is that is that you cannot close the terminal until you type in the command exit. Oh, and you can close this. Oh, yeah, it's not terminal; it's command. <laughs> it's command dot com. So let me just wait for it to bring up the, the DOS prompt or something. You cannot close. So as you can see here, you cannot close until you press exit. So ex exit there. And now you, and now you cannot type anything and and able to close this. And then like when you do end the Windows session. And when you do close the window session, you'll go into the DOS. You'll go into MS DOS. Like I can press it over. Let's see what. And it uses and the MS DOS version it uses is three point three zero. And exit. Even though exit is possible, it does nothing. Anyway, but if you do want to get back to the operating system, you can press Win. It'll automatically, it'll now, it'll then boot into it, and you're back. So I'm not sure if I said this before, but but like between like if you're using like that the same disk over like two computers or two VMs, then the data will uh, will pass through. Like we have this MSP that I did on VirtualBox. And this on VMware. Anyway, that anyway. If you like this video, just like and subscribe and click the notification bell to never miss a video. I'm not sure what there else is to do, so I just gotta end it here. And um, bye bye. Link in the description for the for the image files. Yeah.